Hello everybody, this is Eleanor, I am a practicing astrologer and a witch, and in today's video I'm gonna teach you how to glow the f*** up. All you're gonna need to do is know your rising sign and then just sit back and take some notes. But before we get into all of this juicy information, this video was brought to you by my Patreons. Patreon is literally my safe place. This is where I post all of my astrology research. You can find articles, audios, video classes on there. So if you're looking for more in-depth and exclusive astrology content, then my Patreon is the right place to go. The link will be in the description. I recently started a super exciting series about how to increase your magnetism and your attractiveness based on the sign of Venus in your birth chart. So if you're really committed to this journey, I do recommend that you go check out the articles that I've already published because it'll help you have this well-rounded perspective as far as what to do and what not to do when it comes to glowing up. Now, for those of you guys who want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you can now find me on Tumblr. This is where I post free astrology content. I do have some pretty interesting posts already up that you can go and read for free because when it comes to me, I want to make sure that you guys get the astrology knowledge no matter what. So if you want to make an investment, you can go on my Patreon. If you're just casual about it, you can go on my Tumblr or on all of my social media platforms. Because whenever you see one of my videos, go check the caption because there's just so much information in it. And in honor of spooky season, y'all, do you like my outfit? I, I feel so witchy in this. It's so spooky. It's giving Halloween. I love it so much. But you can let me know in the comments if you like it too. All right, so let's get started. First of all, in order to embark on this glow up journey, I need you to go pull up your birth chart with your accurate birth time and then come back to this video because you need your rising sign. No questions asked. That's because your rising sign, which is also known as the ascendant, represents your physical body. It shows your outward appearance and how other people perceive you. It is the main thing that you want to be looking at when trying to understand how to glow up, how to improve yourself physically. So when you understand the kind of energetic archetype that's sitting on your rising sign, you can align your efforts to that archetype. So basically how this works is you enhance the features and the characteristics associated with your rising sign. Also, when you align yourself with the qualities of your rising sign, you literally become more authentic because you're not moving away from the energy that you were born with. And listen, authenticity is magnetic no matter what and people are drawn to those who are authentically themselves. People who confidently embody their essence. Now that we know why your rising sign plays such an important role into glowing up, I will be giving you seven tips that are unique and practical that you can start implementing today, okay? I wanted this video to be super practical, super accessible, to everybody. So go to the timestamps in the pinned comment or in the description and let's get started. Oh, and bonus tip, you can also use the degree of your rising sign to add more nuance to these interpretations. Here is the guideline of the different degrees and the signs that they embody. So you can listen to both sections of this video and implement the tips that most resonate with you. When it comes to Aries energy, Energy, the number one tip that I can give you is to start implementing the color red in your wardrobe, in your clothes, in your shoes, in your makeup, in your hair. The color red embodies the kind of passion and dynamism that you possess. It exudes confidence and power. So when you wear red, it just stimulates these qualities within you. But it also stimulates your assertiveness, your boldness. Tip number two is to start doing high intensity workouts or high intensity sports. Since Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars is the planet of action and energy, you may thrive on high intensity activities. This not only helps you to stay fit, but it also helps you tap into that competitive spirit within you. This is a great way for you to start feeling stronger, to build self-esteem, and to release any pent-up 
energy. Tip number three for Aries energy is to experiment with headwear or with your hair as a whole. That's because in astrology, especially medical astrology, Aries is associated with the head. And of course, that can include the hair, even though more specifically, Leo rules over hair. Now, if you want to experiment with different hairstyles or different accessories, that would be an amazing choice for you. You can try out new colors, new accessories, and it can also be a visual way for you to express your adventurous side. Tip number four is to start wearing bold pieces or statement pieces. The Aries archetype is known for wanting to stand out and assert itself. And when this energy sits on your rising sign, it's important for you to express yourself and to showcase your individuality through your physical vessel. You can pick from bold jewelry or makeup, hair, clothes that are just eye-catching. If you're brave enough to do this, when you pick something, I want you to think, does this color, does this shirt, dress, scream, I'm here, look at me. That's the kind of things that you should be wearing. Tip number five, you could also experiment with tattoos or piercings. Mars, the ruler of Aries, is associated with sharp tools, which of course are involved every single time you get a piercing or a tattoo. And of course, these things can also be associated with individuality and self-expression, which are paramount for the Aries archetype. Of course, if it aligns with your personal style, getting a piercing, especially on any area of your face, could be an amazing choice. Tip number six, start dyeing your hair red or ginger or make it so that even if it's a dark brown it is a warm one that has red undertones but you do have to look into your personal skin undertone to see if that's going to suit you a hundred and ten percent you can pick from shades of red cranberry reddish brown any fiery tone will do really and the seventh tip the last one for aries is to use confidence boosting mantras get in front of the mirror and start talking to yourself affirm yourself this is not the only way to do this you could also implement this whenever you're having intrusive thoughts shift your attention and pull it towards something that's more positive use these as your daily reminder that you're a bad so that you never forget but at the end of the day affirmations are so freaking powerful because they reinforce your self-belief they strengthen your self-concept and they help you align yourself with the desired version of yourself that you want to manifest. Let's talk about Taurus energy. The first tip that I have for you guys is to start wearing earthy tones. You are so closely connected to the earth and to those kind of tones. So when you wear rich browns, deep greens, and warm terracottas, all of this resonates with your grounded nature, with your earth sign nature. These colors complement your personality and your physical body, and they just exude this sense of reliability and practicality. They can make you feel more connected to yourself, to nature as a whole, which of course can be super comforting for you. Tip number two, Taurus rules over the lips. I think you know where this is going. So the lips are a focal point for you. And since Taurus is a Venus ruled sign, being able to exude sensuality through your lips is super important. And you can do that by using different lipsticks and lip colors and lip glosses and lip liners, but also by speaking more slowly and more gently and more calmly. That'll be a game changer for you. If you're into a more natural look, I would also suggest lip oils or lip tints. That can be a great alternative to lipstick and lip liner because at the end of the day Taurus is really about enhancing your natural beauty so when you play up your lips you increase your charm and your magnetism tip number three for Taurus energy is to accessorize to the gods Venus which is the ruling planet of Taurus is all about adorning your body beautifying yourself 
and you can do that with accessories. So never go out without a pair of earrings on or a necklace or rings or all three of these things. Never, ever, ever again. You could use statement jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, anklets, whatever suits you best. And all of these things can elevate your style. Really anything that radiates elegance will do for you. Tip number four is to find your personal scent. Once again, Taurus is a Venus ruled earth sign. There is a strong connection that this archetype has to sensory experiences and the five senses. And one of the most powerful senses is smell. It can evoke so many memories and really make us go back in time. So when you have a signature scent, baby, everybody's going to remember you. Everybody's going to know that that is your perfume, that is your scent, that is you. And a little tip, because you're ruled by Venus, I suggest that you look for perfumes that have floral notes, especially rose. Tip number five, start layering your necklaces or wearing necklaces as a whole. Give it priority. That's because Taurus rules over the neck in medical astrology. And this is an idea that you could implement. But of course, this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And also, I would say for Taurus, try looking for either chunkier gold necklaces or even more dainty necklaces. Just depends on your personal taste. But prioritize elegance at all times. The neck area is also associated with sensuality. Enhancing this area of your body can help you be perceived as more charming and attractive. Tip number six, ditch fast fashion and trends. That is not for you. You should not be buying things that are trendy. Taurus, as a fixed earth sign, is known for its enduring nature. You should be investing your money into timeless and classic pieces. You have to build a wardrobe that can stand the test of time. I'm talking about the little black dress, a well-tailored blazer, that trustworthy pair of jeans that always makes your butt look good. So tip number six can reflect your appreciation for longevity. And also it can help you build a wardrobe that allows you to effortlessly look put together. And lastly, tip number seven, always enhance your natural beauty. Beauty. You benefit from enhancing your lips and your eyes and your cheeks ever so slightly. Work on embracing your features and exuding this radiant glow. I would also add that it would be wonderful for you to enhance those features that you love more about yourself through makeup. At the end of the day, the goal here is to enhance what you already have, to amplify your natural allure instead of hiding it. Gemini energy tip number one, get regular manicures. Gemini rules over the hands in astrology, so it's important for you to enhance this part of your body. Work on making your hands one of the focal points of your appearance. So if you get regular manicures or a refill, whatever you're doing, make sure you're consistent about it. Make sure it's high quality because it'll help you look more put together. And since Gemini is a mutable sign, you may want to experience with different nail designs, nail colors, nail art, whatever it may be, and just allow yourself the versatility and the freedom to do that. On that same note, tip number two is to wear bracelets and lots of rings. This can help you enhance your hands even further. You can opt for a more dainty bracelet or if you want to go for a more eclectic style or eye-catching style. Anything goes really. Gemini is super, super versatile as an archetype. You can pull off so many fashion choices and jewelry and hair colors as a Gemini, but most people who have a mutable rising sign can do this. They look good in literally anything. Tip number three, start experimenting with color colors and textures and patterns. Combine all of these things in a very aesthetic way. You can even do your research and look for how people have already combined these different elements. Get creative, start mixing and matching the pieces that you have in your wardrobe. Gemini and its ruler Mercury encourages flexibility and creativity in your personal style. So don't be afraid to push the boundaries. Tip number four, aim for a youthful and and fresh appearance. Mercury, which is Gemini's ruler, is connected to youth and youthful energy, and that can be reflected through your makeup. 
or through your clothes. I would suggest that you go for a natural, glowy, or radiant kind of makeup look. Soft tones and neutral tones or even shimmer can be an amazing choice for you. Focus on enhancing your natural features while still maintaining a healthy glow. Tip number five, have a versatile wardrobe. You should have shirts and pants and skirts and dresses that can adapt to every single mood that you go through. Because every time that you wake up, you might be in a different mood. So every morning, you're just opening up your wardrobe and you're like, how do I feel today? How do I want that to show up? through my outfit. There you go, that's why you gotta have a versatile wardrobe. The more you express yourself through fashion and through makeup and through your hair, the better. Your wardrobe should be able to mirror your ability to transition from one thing to the other. Tip number six, choose light and fresh fragrances. Citrus, lavender, green tea, these are all light and changeable fragrances that reflect your adaptable nature. And tip number seven, as a Gemini rising, your eyes are super expressive. So when you enhance them with flirty eyelashes, that's just chef's kiss. As a mutable air sign, you are really flirty. So when you enhance that quality, you'll become more magnetic and you'll also be able to align with the energy that will help you glow up. Cancer energy, tip number one, wear light colors and pastels. Soft tones, shades of light blue and silver suits you best. Any color that's soothing and that has this deep, nurturing emotional nature is suited for you. All of these colors evoke this feeling of tranquility and serenity and calmness, and they also reflect your intuitive personality. So as a Cancer rising, these are great choices for you. But most importantly, these colors also align with the moon. Tip number two, go to thrift shops and get you some vintage clothes or start dressing more vintage as a whole. That's because Cancer has a deep appreciation for nostalgia in the past. So you might love items that tell a story that can really help you embrace more of your personal style. Vintage pieces also carry this timeless beauty to them, and it can be a great way for you to add character to your wardrobe. Tip number three is to wear comfortable and cozy fabrics. The Cancer archetype has a strong need for comfort and for nurturing. So fabrics like cotton and cashmere or silk are all great choices for you. They feel soft and comforting against your skin. It's just perfect. And these materials also can give you a sense of coziness without compromising your style. Tip number four, enhance your chest. As a Cancer rising, you can enhance your chest area by wearing deep v-neck tops or dresses or even a good push-up bra will do. For men and women or if you're non-binary and you're more comfortable wearing compression shirts that'll just, you know, make you look good, enhance your silhouette or tank tops can also be an amazing alternative. Tip number five, accessorize with sentimental pieces. Do you have a family heirloom? Do you have a ring that has been passed down from generations to generations? Start wearing that. Wearing sentimental jewelry or accessories or clothes, whatever it may be, helps you enhance your connection to your family, which of course aligns with the Cancer archetype. It's also a beautiful way for you to express your connection to your heritage. And of course, it adds depth and a little bit of intensity to your personal style. Tip number six, wear flowy clothing. You can choose loose blouses or maxi skirts or maxi dresses. All of these pieces align with Cancer's watery nature. And because the fabric moves with you, flowy clothing can also exude the sense of comfort, which of course also aligns with the Cancer archetype. And last tip for Cancer rising is to wear silver 
different jewelry or silver accents. That's because silver is a metal associated with the moon, the ruler of Cancer. So wearing silver not only complements this astrological connection that you have, but it also adds this touch of elegance and sophistication to your outfits. Leo energy tip number one, wear orange, yellow, or gold. These colors help you step into the spotlight, which is something that you're meant to do as a Leo rising. These warm and vibrant colors also resonate with the nature of the sun. Yellow symbolizes joy and positivity, while orange exudes enthusiasm and warmth. So when you incorporate these colors in your wardrobe, you can enhance your confidence and your radiance. Tip number two, have regular hair appointments. Leo rules over the hair. Think of the Leo's mane. Taking care of your hair is crucial. Make sure that you get regular root touch-ups or regular haircuts. Whether you're going to a professional or whether you're doing it yourself, it's super important for you to take care of your hair. Another great tip for you as far as hair whittle also be to get blonde highlights or to go blonde or to wear blonde wigs. That's because blonde hair is associated with the sun. Think of how so many people who are famous are blonde and this hair color can also enhance your natural glow. And if you think blonde doesn't look good on me, there is a shade of blonde for everybody. Maybe platinum blonde doesn't suit you. Maybe you should go for a more ashy type of blonde or you should go for a caramel type of blonde. Tip number three, mimic a sun-kissed look with your makeup. I'm not telling you to go hem with the bronzer, but give yourself that glowy, radiant look. Of course, you should place it on your cheekbones and your jawline. Tip number four, wear gold accents or gold jewelry because this is a metal associated with the sun. Gold also symbolizes power and prestige. It can make you feel so rich and luxurious. And as a Leo rising, you should always be feeling like royalty. So wearing gold can help you do just that. Tip number five, since Leo and the sun rule over the back, you can show off this part of your body with low-cut dresses. These kind of dresses enhance the part of your body that's associated with the Leo archetype, but they're also incredibly sensual. Tip number six is to go for luxurious fabrics or fabrics that feel luxurious on your skin. Of course, Leo and the sun are all about glamour, and when you choose a luxury fabric like silk, satin, or velvet, you not only exude elegance but also royalty and you feel like royalty because these fabrics drape over your body in such a graceful way and they give you this regal presence and tip number seven is to wear shimmer or glitter i don't know if you could see here but i do have glitter on my body right now and this is one of the things that you can do you could also put it in your hair if that's something that you're into if you're not comfortable with that you could try sparkling eyes eyeshadow or highlighter. All of these things can add a touch of glamour to your look. And as a Leo, you should always be in the spotlight and what better way to do that than wear glitter and be super, super shiny. Virgo energy tip number one is to wear earthy tones. Wearing a neutral palette resonates best with your archetype. You can choose from shades of brown and green, olive, or even more muted tones. Of course, going for this type of palette not only helps you look clean and put together as a Virgo rising, but also because Virgo is a mutable sign, it allows you the flexibility and versatility to mix and match different pieces of your wardrobe together. Tip number two is to go for a minimalistic look. Virgo is all about practicality and efficiency, so of course this is something that's going to resonate. I would advise you to choose clean lines and clean designs. The less clutter in your outfits and in your wardrobe, the better. Also, when you have a minimalistic approach, you can focus more on the craftsmanship of the clothes and the accessories that you wear, which is super important for the Virgo archetype, but also it allows you to focus on on quality. Tip number three is to choose natural and subtle fragrances. Lavender, vanilla, and citrus can 
all be amazing choices for you. They're super appealing and they're not overwhelming. Also, when you choose fragrances that have these clean undertones, you can evoke a sense of freshness and purity, which is all about Virgo. And it also aligns with its preference for cleanliness and things that are orderly. Tip number four is to tailor your clothes. The Virgo archetype is detail oriented, so you want to make sure that everything fits you really really well because it will stand out to you you nitpick every single thing about your appearance and your body so get your clothes tailored get all of the adjustments that you need because the clothes should not be wearing you you should be wearing the clothes and wearing an outfit that's well tailored enhances your appearance but it also reflects your commitment to precision and to detail tip number five invest in versatile dresses get things that you can dress up or dress down depending on your mood or depending on the occasion. Get pieces that you can accessorize however you want and make sure that these clothes are practical and efficient. So basically that they get the job done. Tip number six is to wear natural makeup or to strive for the clean girl aesthetic. The Virgo archetype has an inclination towards natural beauty, so try to always have this fresh look, and your motto should be less is more. Focus on glowy and radiant skin, subtle eyeshadow, having well-defined eyebrows. Make sure that you're highlighting your natural beauty. And last tip for Virgo is to have a structured grooming routine. Of course, the Virgo archetype appreciates order, structure, routine. When you maintain this healthy, structured beauty regimen, it can be a game changer. This routine, of course, can include hair care, skin care, nail care, anything that you want. And this will not only keep you looking your best, but it also will reflect your commitment to your overall well-being and to your health. Libra energy tip number one is to wear deep wine tones or pink. Pink symbolizes love and compassion and deep wine tones exude sophistication. These are some of the colors that are associated with the Libra archetype, some of the main colors. These are great choices for you to implement in your wardrobe or in your makeup or in your hair to glow up. Tip number two for Libra rising, have a good skincare routine. As a Libra, rising you are more prone to have skin related issues because of venus's influence on your rising sign and venus rules over the skin so it makes that area of your body more visible more sensitive if you need to go to a dermatologist get your appointment and get that skin care regimen right this will keep you looking healthy and glowy, but it also aligns with that Libra archetype. Tip number two, accessorize to the gods. Venus is all about beautifying your body and adorning your body. So wear necklaces and rings, bracelets, anklets, earrings, anything that you can think of. And don't be afraid to wear all of these things at once. This is a great way for you to express your personality, your creativity, but also to align with Venus and Libra. You could also use hats and scarves and fake fur. Next tip is to find your personal scent. Venus rules over fragrances, so it's important for you to have your own signature scent. And when it comes to your fragrances, make sure that you choose something that's floral and possibly with rose in it. Tip number five, go for an androgynous style. If you're not into the pink and all of the dainty girly accessories, you could opt for a more versatile kind of fashion. Of course, we are dealing with a masculine Venus ruled sign, so we are blending both feminine and masculine elements here. You can play around with traditionally feminine or traditionally masculine clothing, depending on who you are and how you identify. And if you're non-binary, you kind of get the best of both worlds. You could choose whatever you're into that day, or you could stay more neutral. Tip number six, go for soft romantic makeup. Libra and Venus that are naturally drawn to anything love related and romantic. So apply blush in your cheeks to make them look flushed and use rosy colors and pinks. Go gentle with the eyeshadow 
and I would suggest that you use more glowing products like cream products for example or glosses and lip tints and tints as a whole and last tip for Libra Rising is to focus on symmetry if you're wearing a bracelet on your right arm make sure you match that on your left arm make sure that your eyebrows are super symmetric make sure that your lip liner is symmetric even your eyeliner everything needs to be on point like you gotta go in there with a ruler scorpio energy tip number one is to wear sultry shades go for burgundy black dark purple these colors mirror the depth of emotion of the scorpio archetype they mirror that mystery that intensity and they also convey this sense of power and enigma and sensuality tip number two is to experiment with piercing or tattoos if that's what you're into if it aligns with your personal aesthetic mars which is the ruler of scorpio is associated with sharp tools which are always involved when when getting piercings or tattoos these quote-unquote body modifications can help you enhance your individuality but also add more dimension to your appearance and to your look tip number three is to dye your hair a cranberry color red or a reddish brown or a strawberry blonde make sure you have some sort of red undertone to your hair mars which is the ruler of scorpio is associated with this color and it can enhance your magnetism so red hair not only complements the archetype of the zodiac sign of your ascendant but it also symbolizes passion and intensity which are aligned with who you are tip number four choose leather or chains these elements exude an air of dominance and strength which align very well with Scorpio. You can choose leather jackets, leather belts, leather dresses if that's what you're into. And you can also include chains in your jewelry or you can attach them to your jeans or your pants or any skirts that you're wearing. Tip number five is to pick a super intense fragrance. I think it's pretty clear that the Scorpio archetype appreciates intensity. So you should be choosing a bold and long lasting perfume. Look for fragrances that have a woody or spicy undertone because it can literally become your secret weapon. Tip number six is to wear sensual lingerie. Whatever you're wearing under your regular clothes can literally increase your level of confidence by a thousand. Choose undergarments that are made from silk and cotton, even lace, because all of these materials feel super luxurious on your skin, but also they evoke sensual which is super aligned with Scorpio energy and the last tip tip number seven is to have sharp nails or to wear sharp accessories because of course like we've mentioned before Mars is associated with everything sharp sharp tools sharp anything you could wear belts or necklaces with spikes or that are on the more sharper side Sagittarius energy tip number one is to wear fiery tones but earthy tones can also resonate with you. Go for red, yellow, orange, reddish browns, dark browns. Even green and warm neutrals can be aligned with Sagittarius love for adventure and exploration and the outdoors. Tip number two is to prioritize comfortable clothing. The Sagittarius archetype values freedom and movement so make sure that you are wearing comfortable clothes that align with your nature even active wear or breathable fabrics flexible designs and comfortable footwear these can be great choices tip number three is to wear adventure inspired accessories like backpacks and cross body bags scarves with travel inspired prints all of these accessories add this sense of wonderlust to your outfit you could also choose designs that feature maps and compasses. Tip number four is to choose natural materials, especially for your accessories. All of these accessories align with your connection to nature and to the outdoors and to exploration. Tip number five is to have an eclectic style. As a mutable sign, you do crave versatility and adaptability in your wardrobe. And as a mutable rising sign, you could also be able to pull off different kind of looks regardless of the archetype of Sagittarius. 
Tip number six is to choose a signature fragrance, especially one that features notes of citrus, fresh herbs, woods. All of these notes can evoke this sense of freshness and vitality and even movement. Tip number seven is to always learn something new. There's nothing more attractive than somebody who is knowledgeable and knows things or who has mastered something. So the more you know, the more confident you're also going to feel because that aligns with Jupiter, which is Sagittarius ruler. And Jupiter has a deep love for knowledge, for information, for the expansion of the mind. Capricorn energy tip number one is to wear black or dark brown. These are classic colors that Capricorn loves because Capricorn has a deep love for a tradition since it's ruled by Saturn. These colors can also reflect your practical approach as an earth sign. They evoke sophistication and timelessness. Tip number two is to have a good skincare routine. Saturn rules over the skin, which can make this part of your body more sensitive. Getting to the moisturizer, the exfoliator, whatever you need to make your skin look good, do it. And if you do need a dermatologist to help you out, then go for it. It'll be such a good investment for you. Tip number three is to go for teeth whitening or to have excellent oral hygiene. Saturn, as the ruler of Capricorn, governs the teeth. So you need to be paying special attention to this part of your body. And having an excellent oral hygiene routine can make a significant difference into how you feel because you are aligning with that Capricorn archetype. Get professional cleanings and regular checkups. Tip number four is to invest in timeless and classic pieces. As a practical and reliable earth sign, Capricorn does appreciate enduring clothing. So take the time to invest in suits and blazers, pants, well-structured dresses. All of these choices can help you build a great wardrobe that's aligned with the Capricorn archetype. And if you can get these items tailored to your body, that would be even better because your look then becomes more polished. Tip number five is to opt for fragrances that have a woody or earthy undertone. You could also choose herbal, leather, or musk notes. These fragrances are super elegant and sophisticated and they align with your practical and refined taste as a Capricorn rising. And these tones can also reflect your grounded nature and Capricorn is an earth sign. Tip number six is to choose a natural makeup palette and to go for more classic looks. Go for muted tones for the lips and soft, earthy, neutral eyeshadow. All these makeup choices complement your features as a Capricorn rising. Last tip for Capricorn, tip number seven, is to choose lip colors that are classic, like the classic red, or colors that enhance your smile. Going for lip oils that whiten your teeth can be super good. You can choose a great nude or beige or a soft pink or a traditional red. These are all amazing color choices for your lipstick. And when you choose a classic lip color, that can also become your signature. So that's a double win. Aquarius energy tip number one, choose holographic colors. Try to go for eclectic or changeable colors as well. Iridescent materials or colors that shift under different lighting conditions. Tip number two is to wear socks under skirts or accessories that go up to the calves. That's because Aquarius rules over this part of your body. So enhancing it can be a great way to personalize your style. You could go for knee high socks or calf length boots or even leg warmers. These can all be great fashion statements that enhance your individuality. Tip number three is to choose heels or shoes that tie all the way up to your calves. This can enhance the correspondence between Aquarius and the body parts that are rules, but it can also be a great fashion statement. Tip number four is to have a good skincare routine. Saturn, which is the traditional ruler of Aquarius, is associated with the skin. So this part of your body is more sensitive and it can be prone to breakouts. 
make sure that you double cleanse, you exfoliate, you use serums and moisturizers, whatever you need to do. And if you can get a professional to help you out, then even better. Tip number five is to whiten your teeth or to have excellent oral hygiene. Once again, Saturn rules over the teeth, so it's super, super important that you take care of your teeth, that you get regular checkups, professional cleaning. Do everything in your power to keep this bright smile. Tip number six is to choose fragrances that are gender fluid or unisex. You may be attracted to fragrances that challenge the norm. You could also appreciate unexpected notes like zinc, ink. And the last and seventh tip for Aquarius is to wear bright and unconventional colors or clothing pieces. Always aim to have this avant-garde style. And of course, express your creativity through your physical vessel. Don't be afraid to experiment with vibrant colors and unconventional looks or unconventional outfits. You can get away with playing around with bold hairstyles, bright eyeshadow, or fashion choices that push the boundaries. Pisces energy tip number one is to wear shades of blue. Go for watery tones or a soft blue pastel palette. Pisces is a water sign so it naturally resonates with those kind of colors. Blue is a naturally calming color, it evokes these feelings of calmness and tranquility. Tip number two is to pick soothing products like chamomile or aloe vera. As a Pisces rising, you may have a more delicate disposition so it's important for you to have makeup products or skincare products that are soothing. Of course, these products are known for their anti-inflammatory qualities which can keep your skin looking radiant. Tip number three is to get regular pedicures or foot care. Pisces rules over the feet, so it's important for you to take care of this part of your body. Get regular pedicures or foot massages and have proper foot hygiene. Of course, healthy feet promote your comfort and your well-being, but it also aligns with the Pisces archetype. Tip number four, wear flowy fabrics and flowy clothing. Go for silk, organza, chiffon. These are all perfect choices for you as a Pisces. These materials allow you to move with fluidity and grace, and they also mirror your adaptable and intuitive nature. Because of the way that they flow on your body, they can remind you of water. They can also add this ethereal real and dreamy dimension to your outfits. Tip number five is to use glowy makeup. This kind of radiant look can reflect your connection to the water element. Try going for hydrating products and placing highlighters on the highest points of your face. Use luminous foundations so that you can have this dewy look to your skin, this glass-like look. And bonus tip, you could also do siren makeup. Just make yourself look like you are one of those beautiful sensual sirens that just came out of the water. Tip number six is to pick high quality shoes and footwear. Once again, Pisces rules over the feet, so it's important for you to take special care of this part of your body. In particular, try to go for sandals, but you could also go for heels if you're feeling a little bit you know, spicy. High quality shoes allow you to move with elegance and sophistication, but they also promote your comfort. And tip number seven, pick fragrances with floral or aquatic notes. You could also go for iris, sandalwood, and musk notes. These kind of fragrances evoke a sense of tranquility, peace, sensuality, and depth. And of course, they can transport you or anybody else that's smelling them to this otherworldly dimension. And with that being said, that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And make sure you comment your rising sign in the comments below. Mwah.